Hey guys, welcome back to Stoneheart with me, Banto. Today we're gonna continue with uh, designing our castle here. And I did check by the way, so these colors should be the same. I did check it after, so we are fine with the colors for now. So that's really good. And I also added the second tower here. So what we're gonna do today is to figure out a little bit of things up here. For example, maybe we wanna have something here in the middle. Maybe that could be cool. Or maybe we don't wanna have it in the middle. Because I do have plans to expand out here, and maybe we could have something behind this thing instead. So maybe this could be in like a pretty big open area. We can even have some cool things. We can have the trees and stuff on the, like that on top of this thing. And we can even make a pathways like in this thing. Or we can make like a big, big sign or something like that. But uh, for now, I'm gonna add some coloring here. So maybe, I'm not sure, maybe we can go for that color. So, we don't want people to, you know, fall down, bound to always go secure the first round people. No one is gonna fall down and hurt their, themselves. We will see if I keep that cutter, it might not work together with everything else, so I might have to switch that out. I'm actually gonna do it. So now it goes together with everything else a little bit better. And uh, perhaps we should add something more here before we continue too far with other places. So I'm actually gonna add a little bit of uh, kind of like a column on each of these sides. Maybe we can do something like that. I think that did look pretty awesome, to be honest. Maybe we do something like that. Interesting feature. I'm not sure if we, if we should go maybe all the way down. We should go for a different color. Let's go like that for now. I'm still not sure if we're gonna keep that door, if we will switch it out. It's really, really, really sticking out. It might actually be better with like a normal wooden door. So let's uh, go and check it out. We should have a double door ready for that. Here it is. So I don't know, guys. I kind of think this fits in better. We could go for what we got down here also, which is like a tunnel door with rise children. But we will see, we can always change that later on if you want to do that. That's pretty good. Okay, so let's see if we should uh, add some decoration on top here. So let's see how these would look. Like, I have never like really used these. I'm not sure if that would be nice here or not. We also have a smaller one. I'm not sure if this would be good. Maybe we could have it over this thing. Kind of hooking, kind of weird though. Like, I would have liked to have it like... Over where you go up, maybe. I'm not sure, maybe that's a bad idea. They're sitting really weird for the moment. I don't think we're gonna have them there. They're sitting really weird, but they're kind of cool. I would love to have more of those, like, red colors to be able to add those. That would be awesome. So I think that maybe we will skip doing too much here now. And um, once uh, we start working here, uh, we're gonna add more on top of that. So I'm gonna figure this thing out. So I'm not sure if we're gonna have the doors, maybe we should have them there. It's gonna be a lot of work to do this thing, but I'm thinking of doing this kinda different way. So I'm gonna start with doing some floor here. I'm gonna go something like that, perhaps we could go out a little bit here. Let's see if we can keep the pretty much the same distance here. Should be the same where the doors are. So perhaps I want to do something like this, and then I want to change the shape of this thing. Maybe go on two like that, and another step with two. So I'm kind of like creating this roundish shape. It's going to be in the back here, it's going to look pretty cool. But I see that I already messed up a tiny little bit here. I have to redo a few parts. That should be alright. I think something like that should be enough for it. Maybe when I make it a little bit wider, perhaps, perhaps a little bit. Did I use that one here instead? Uh, for some reason I switched it, I don't know how the game did that, but I guess it did, and maybe I clicked it. So do something like that. Then we can add a little bit more. Get a little bit more shape going. Something like that, I'm not sure if it will be too pointed here. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. We might add some more things as we get here. 
Then we're gonna have some, perhaps some walls. I'm not sure if we should do yes, that tiny little part there, which will be a little bit different. We have three steps here, the other ones, all of them are pretty much two. Maybe even the end here we could make smaller, but maybe when I have that size. And I'm gonna do this uh, with slabs, we can get like full powers if we're doing this thing. So if we drag something wrong, we can always go back. It's a lot more work, but I think it's gonna be... It's gonna be worth it, guys. I think so. That is what we're gonna do for a start. And I think maybe before I go too far, perhaps we should add some support under this thing. So I'm gonna go for like a darker color for this. And uh, maybe we will actually do some really, really thick pillars under this. It's gonna be maybe a little bit tricky to figure out where these are gonna hit, but I guess we can, if we do it from under here, I think we should be able to get a nice position for them. So I probably wanna have them at least 3x3, three three, maybe even bigger, I'm not sure, maybe bigger. Let's go for 3x3 three three and we can have another the other side. So it should be down... Should be down here, pretty much. Did we go? We got a first one. We wanna add some more things to this though. Like perhaps something like that. Maybe dig that out, not sure, maybe. Do something like that, perhaps. I feel I wanna dig this thing out. I'm gonna bring my people over there and we're gonna dig that way. I do have ladders already, so that should be good. As we can get it to look exactly like we want to. We're gonna tweak this around a lot, but uh, we got what we want for now. So let's uh, do the same thing for this other side. It will have to dig even more, really. So we better bring some people up here and we're gonna do some digging mission. They did update, we do not beat it. We need more food and more net worth, but I don't really feel like we need really more people for the moment, to be honest. So I'm gonna do this digging thing, I'm gonna do this in steps perhaps, so we can dig this one step at a time. I think that's gonna be the safest way of doing this. So let's see, let's get some people to not be building, because people are quite busy like down there I think, building. Maybe not, it looks like most people are idle. Did they get stuck? They do look like they're building though. A feet coming in here. Let's bring out soldiers. Let's go out and fight them. I think we're gonna change like one of the footmas. They also to be another archer, by the way. Get some of the new king power. We have three archers for the moment. Let's see who we got here. Maybe we should train up a new one. So I'm gonna go for Velum Tyrum. And uh, I'm gonna go for name request that I got just recently. So we're gonna go for Doge for this one. Welcome to our town, Doge. Hope you can have a great time, man, shooting arrows like a real dog. That's gonna be awesome. He has to go through training for a footman first, and then later on he will become our new archer with amazing, awesome, extraordinary shooting fire powers. Getting cool quivers and stuff. That should be good enough. Let's see, my people here. I was gonna change a few things. So these guys that I want to dig, we're gonna have only mining for them. Not even job they're gonna do. They're only gonna be mining. I'm gonna change so we have four people doing this. Because I want this to go kinda quick. So I'm gonna dig out most of this stuff. I'm gonna speed it up so you guys don't have to see the entire process of this. So as you can see guys, we have something going on here. We have loads of people who's idle. Not sure if they're stuck or something. Comma Foxtrot, I think she could be stuck. What you can do if you get people stuck is to bring up console with control plus C. Then you can do teleport with the person selected and teleport them out. So this person was stuck somewhere. I think we might have even more people stuck here. So let's see down here. Maybe there's not more people. But I'm gonna finish this house by the way guys. Just so we can get our people free to be doing stuff. So that way we will be able to build our big big castle a lot faster than we, instead of waiting for the people. Okay, so I have removed pretty much everything that we need to remove. So now we're gonna keep uh, making this awesome. We're gonna start with something like this, pretty basic, and then we're gonna be adding in some more coloring and stuff like that. So it's gonna be some interesting coloring. At least that is my plan with this. And we're gonna be some interesting 
shape to it as well as we go. So something like that should be pretty nice. Then I want to make one in the middle here and I'm going to fill in with some uh, terrain color here pretty much. So I'm going to go something like this and I think that will be hopefully working out fairly good with the terrain here. Hopefully it's not going to stick out too much. What we could do is to add this thing here, this block, and we do and then go in and do an instant build. We check how the block looks. Maybe it's too dark. Maybe we go over this one instead. That one looks, I would say, more the same. So let's uh, switch this out to this one. The dance can look better. It's going to fit in with the rest of the terrain a lot more. And I'm also going to be adding in it, it back here. Yeah, so get away this open space. I was thinking of doing perhaps like a room under here. I'm not sure if we're going to do that. We already have a very, very big project to do, but uh, we will see, guys. So I want to make another between this place. Let's see where we have like the middle for this. So it's 20. Then we got 10 and 10. So that's like the middle of it. Then we can just expand this thing because this one's going to be our bigger one. And it's not even sure that we want to have that far in. So maybe we want to go like further out with this one. And this will be, uh, I think we should do it 6x6. Six six. Like this, as you can see, this is a very, very big color. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do this. But uh, the cool thing is, that, like, the bigger we have it, the more, like, cool shapes we can make to it. Because it's more blocks to play around with. We can remove blocks, we can add blocks, and we can create some interesting uh, features to it. I actually have one idea for it. I'm not really sure how it's going to work in with this thing, but I would love to try it. If it's going to work, I'm going to try it. It is possible that it maybe will not work, but I think it might actually work. So just check it for the thing that I want to do, and it will not work for this thing. It would be cool to do the thing I wanted to do, but... It's not, yes, it's not going to work, so I will have to go for a different idea. The idea that I had for it, just so you guys can know what it was, was to actually make a statue inside it, similar to what we got for these ones. But uh, this statue will be, they would be pretty much be holding up uh, the pillar. The thing is though, if you want to have this centered, it has to be an equal size. And an equal size do not work for this uh, specific figure. Because it's uh, 5 in width, the entire thing. So it would be standing really weird because uh, the legs have to be like that. But I think it would be really, really cool. We can maybe, perhaps make like a different figure. Like we could go for, let's say this would be the head, and then maybe we would remove like this perhaps. I'm not sure if we're going to do this guys, but I'm just going to show you. It could be fitted like that, and perhaps it's, you know, his right shield run, so maybe he's standing like this, and he's like holding this thing up, and perhaps he has some legs, he's holding it up like that. It would be cooler to make like a figure like that, but... It's not going to sit very good there. I still think this looks kind of interesting though, even though the figure is very different than what I wanted from the beginning. So I'm not, not sure, maybe we'll keep this thing. So I'm going to experiment with adding and removing parts of this. I think we already got some pretty interesting shapes going on. It would make that difference. So you see the front will be different than other sides, but I think this looks pretty cool already. Then I would like to perhaps remove around like this. Then what we could also do is to actually remove even more. Let's remove all this thing. And we can fill it in with like this reddish color, which I use for a lot of places. So I think it's fit in to use it again. And that will be like an nice little extra touch to the thing and you know maybe we want to have another one so let's try to do another one below this thing should be like that it looks pretty interesting that is pretty cool so the centerpiece is definitely gonna look more awesome than other sides but i'm already gonna start with doing a little bit of extra like supportive thing for these
They've got some pretty pretty nice shapes. We might want to do something here. Like we might even make this so this goes up on the castle at the side here. But I'm gonna leave them as this for now. Then we might do something here. I'm just gonna leave them maybe even one more. Yes, yeah, so maybe I will remember it easier. Radiance here. Wanna trade some with us? Let's see if we have some stuff to sell. I actually did plant some more trees, so hopefully we will actually be getting more wood because the soil was like pretty much out of wood. I was trying to add more wells so we can get more water. We have so much stone, guys. It's a lot of stone. And uh, let's uh, see how they're doing down here. I want to gather, gather a little bit more water. I gathered these more wells and see that we're running pretty low on water. You can see this little drinking icon above them means that they want to drink a little bit of water. And Banto is going to supply them with that, of course. I'm um, a good guy, Banto, of course. So we can do like more things to this. For example, maybe we can do something at the sides here. Maybe even just fill it in with like this reddish color here, like like a uh, curve thing like that. That's not the color I selected, but uh, let's remove it again. So we can do something like that. See if I can get the correct spot just over his hands. That should be it. And uh, other things, for example, we used the mosaic before. It could be possible to put it here, depending on how big it is. So see, like this would also work on this thing. I'm not sure if we're gonna use it. But did it do work? We could, for example, maybe use it like on the very, very top here. We could go around something like this. It actually do look pretty cool. We have to do the back side. Do something like that. That looks pretty interesting. But we might need to change uh, this color or maybe, I don't know. Let's see how it looks if we perhaps do it, we do it like here also. That does look pretty cool, I think. But since we did that, I'm gonna keep it like open maybe behind this or at least add just these two back. We're covering this up. That should be good enough for the holes for now. I feel like we maybe want to do something more here though. I think that looks pretty cool, but that kind of makes these needing more, <laughs> something more. So for example, we can go for this thing around here also. Something like that. Maybe even two of them next to each other. We can go all the way to the bottom. I'm not really sure if we want to do it, but we can switch this one out. And then we do the reddish color here, just like we got for the other side. And let's see here, maybe we do it below here. Another one of those. It feels like it should be, if we're gonna have it there, it feels like it should be here also. It makes it kind of weird with this one. Maybe it's okay, maybe it's okay. Let's try to do the same thing for this side. There we go, a little bit interesting. I think that looks pretty cool, like, really. That's that for now, and uh, let's move on to... Maybe adding some more walls here. So I think for this floor that we got down here, we will actually... Not have a bedroom. I think the bedroom should be maybe on the next floor. So maybe down here we will have some kind of window. Let's see how we, what we can put here. We're gonna go into placement and do our little placement trick. We gotta make sure that we do have the windows crafted and we do have the window I want to do. It's just a tall clay window. So we're gonna put it in here. That looks pretty nice, I'd say. And we can actually add more if we want to, like, in here, but since we have the, kind of, like, uh, this curve here thingy, it's gonna be one block behind, so it's not gonna work out good there at all. So we're not really gonna add anything. We could do maybe at these sides. Perhaps at that side, but I'm not sure how it's gonna look there, so we're actually gonna wait, but we got that window at least. 
I think that looks pretty nice. And what I'm gonna do mostly down here in the back is to actually add some stairs to go up. So we can do like a stair maybe in between this thing. Something like that, so we're gonna reach up and we're gonna do another floor. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go for Ekru for the floor. So a really, really bright floor. And I think this might actually be the bedroom for the king and the queen and the royal noble family. It's gonna be living on top of here. It's gonna be pretty cool. And what we might wanna do with this thing is to add some coloring here. I'm not sure how this is gonna look, guys. This will be outside of uh, the walls, pretty much. So it's not gonna be on the walls on top of the red thing. Yes, I want to see how this could look, and we will see if it's a keeper or if we can remove it. We do need to add in more colors here, so let's see. It should be Ekru again, right? So what we could do down here is also to perhaps add some pillars. Just to add this like a funny thing that we actually add some kind of support here to hold this thing up here. And maybe with a different color for this. Let's go maybe for... let's go for the one we have for the floor above. It's a really, really simple... One extra detail, pretty much. And these, depending on the size, we can actually do the thing with placing this mosaic on them. So I'm not sure the size for this. It would have to be wider if we're gonna do it. And the height is not gonna work, so we're gonna skip it. It's pretty, really nice. And... Uh, if we want, we can have this pretty open. That would be like an interesting... Different thing, right? Let's do it like open up here and uh, let's see what color we should go for it. Let's see if this is gonna work out. Don't think it's gonna work out. I would do okay. So we could do something like this, for example, and then we could do something like that. So the king and queen can be standing up here looking down and stuff. Maybe we skip this thing like that and we actually only go for. I think it like that because it's really high that thing. But I think that's a really interesting open thing. I think it looks pretty cool. And maybe like this floor, we could have changed the shape for this, but I think we're gonna keep the round thing going. So that should be all good. That should be all good. And I'm gonna let them have this like extra tall here so they can have like a high roof where the king and queen is gonna be sleeping. So that kind of makes them having a more awesome place. Okay, so I finally got all those uh, triangles up and that was a lot to do. And I'm thinking of doing like the windows here for this floor a little bit different. We have a higher floor. So I'm thinking of doing um, windows kind of different. I'm going to place them like above each other. I'm going to see how that looks. That's pretty cool. That would create like an interesting different thing for it. I'm not sure how it would look if, for example, like down here at like low here if like put like um we would put like two more windows here i'm gonna try it out and we're gonna see if it's gonna work out good i think we could go like that perhaps i still think it looks pretty nice not sure what happened to these windows they just disappeared for some reason that's something that's important by the way when you're doing this building kind of thing when you're adding the slab in the way that I'm doing for the moment. When you're like done with house, go and make sure that uh, the windows and the doors are still there. So like go and control check, is the door here? Yeah, the door is here. The windows was gone before it might disappear again later on, we will see. So I think this looks pretty cool so far guys. But we're gonna end the episode for today, so there was a lot of the billing and we're actually kind of getting close to an end of the castle. We still have a lot of details to add to this, but I think it's starting to shape, take shape really good and nicely. And I think this end here, once we reach the top here, is going to look pretty freaking awesome, guys. So guys, thanks for checking out this video. Hope you had a good, good time and drop a like if you wish to do so, if you had a lot of nice time here. So thanks for being here, guys, and I hope to see you guys very, very soon again so when we're going to finish this uh, castle here. It has been a really long project and we are getting closer to the end and it's going to be freaking cool once we're done. I really like the pillars that we made and we can add and do a lot of tweaks to this, but so far it looks freaking cool. I really love it. So guys, thanks for being here. Hope you all had a good, good time and hope to see you next time.
Take care, guys. Thank you.